Hey, what's going on everybody? And we are back from PAX South 2015. It was a uh, it was a blast. I am extremely tired. Our plane arrived last night around, I don't know, 11 o'clock or so. Um, between fighting shuttles to get to the car, getting a really, really late dinner since we didn't eat anything since uh, the beginning of the last of day three vlog that you guys saw. I think we ate at like 12 o'clock noon. It's, uh, I'm exhausted. You guys can probably see, like, I'm kind of just, like, it's been a long trip, long flight. I'm um, glad to be home. Had a lot of fun at PAX South. Got to meet a lot of great people. Got to check out a lot of cool games. Got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it was definitely an experience, that's for sure. It's the smaller, I guess this was the first PAX South in Texas, uh, San Antonio, Texas. Um... So it was the first PAX there, but it's also the smaller of the, the three. You've got PAX East coming up next, and then PAX Prime. PAX East is in uh, Boston, and then PAX Prime is in uh, Washington. So I'm very excited to go to those. Uh, we're going to be going to Playlist Live uh, next month, and then uh, PAX East shortly after that. So we're going to be doing a lot of traveling over the next couple of months. I'm very, very excited about that. So... Uh, day three, uh, PAX video is uh, actually rendering on one of the monitors over here. Uh, I don't know where it's at, but it's it's currently rendering right now. So PAX day three is going to be up today. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, one thing. Uh, the all new Bear Ghost shirt has come out. You guys can probably hear a little bear snoring underneath the desk there. But this is the brand new, this is the hoodie the brand new Bear Ghost Games uh, shirts and uh, hoodies and t-shirts and stuff are now live. They are on the uh, Spreadshirt store. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself this new uh, logo, which is the Bear Ghost Games official logo, if you guys are interested in checking that out, links are always in the description. <clears throat> We've got some really cool stuff that are going to be going up, uh, plus this that just went up on the store. Um, Something else I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, two things. One, there's a lot of you that don't know about the Bear Ghost Games website. It's just bearghostgames.net. We figured we would try the .net first and kind of see the traffic that it brings in and kind of see how people like that. And then if it gets a lot of traffic, then we're going to build something much better on a, better on a larger scale for the bearghostgames.com. But for now, you guys can head over to bearghostgames.net and check that out. Also in the description is the links to the Bear Ghost Games app. For those of you who are on the road, you guys have got a uh, iPhone or a Android device. You guys can click on the links below. It takes you to the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store. You guys can get your official Bear Ghost Games app. It's uh, really, really, really cool. Um, I can show you guys right here just by clicking the app <clears throat> it fires up the app just like that and then it gives you a feed of all of the different videos that I've been putting up um, it's got different playlists that you can click on you can click on about uh, games uh, the feed the different shows and stuff that I'm currently doing it's a really really cool app for if you guys are on the road and you guys don't want to miss anything you guys can just fire up your phone and go right to the bear ghost games app click it you don't even have to search my channel you guys can search it from there click the video plays it right from your mobile device so another really really cool feature um so yeah i'm going to uh i've got a lot of videos i've got to catch up on um i've got boxes that have been sitting over here since we've been gone the past couple of days i've got some really cool gear uh from the show uh pack shirts uh we got to meet the owner of uh, origin pc as you guys if you guys weren't aware if you guys don't follow me on instagram or twitter make sure you guys do that as well my instagram is bearghost.games and my twitter as at bearghost games i was putting up a lot of a lot of uh photos and pictures and video and stuff on instagram i got to meet some really really great people um really had a great time it was nice the first two days were cold as heck in san antonio texas and then the third day was really really nice and warm so me and uh, my wife uh, pixie got to walk around and it got to explore the river walk and do a lot of really cool stuff 
So it was a lot of fun, but we are back, finally back to the daily grind. I've got some more videos coming out for you guys. We're gonna be recording some family stuff to Monday and Tuesday. We've got Dying Light coming out that we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Really, really cool stuff coming. Thank you guys so much for your support. <clears throat> and for those of you that are currently uh, new to the channel and subscribing, thank you so much, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for subscribing because there's a reason why you guys are subscribing. That's because you guys obviously like what you're seeing. And that means a lot to me that people out there are enjoying our content and subscribing to the channel because it's it, it's we put a lot of time and effort into our videos. We put a lot of a lot of heart into it and it means a lot that you guys are uh, subscribing to the channel. So thank you for those of you who are brand new to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you to all of you who have been subscribed since day one. And for those of you who have kind of trickled in along the way. It means a lot. We're coming up on 350,000 people. Uh, the channel's growing. And it's good to have you guys grow along with it. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be who I am today. And being able to go and check out these conventions and record them for you guys so thank you guys so much i really and truly mean that um yeah so i'm gonna wrap this up i've got a lot of other stuff to do thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the pax videos remember shirts are now available links are down below you guys can check out the cool bear ghost games shirts the bear ghost games app android and iphone bearghostgames.net if you guys want to go check that out as well and I've got some other really, really cool stuff that's coming too. Always, links are always in the description down below. I've got everything down there. It's just a click away. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. we got a lot of really cool content coming to the channel from PAX and all sorts of games coming out. So yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, as you guys know, I am back from PAX South. And one of the uh, people that I ran into there is um, there they work for a company called Edge, and this is something that I've been on a prowl with. I have literally, no joke, have bought probably every single headset on the market, ranging from Steel Series to Razer to Astros to even Studio, you know, Audio Technicas to Sennheisers. Literally, probably 15, 20 headsets. It's not that they sound bad, it's the comfort factor. Like, you know, I don't have like abnormally large ears or anything, it's just my ears are kind of stiffer. Like a lot of people can like bend their ears all weird ways. Mine are a little stiffer. But the problem is, is the headsets that you look at, like the cups are round. And well, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know of any human ears that are perfectly round. And that's where edge comes into play. So basically what their company does is they modify headsets and this is their product that they gave me to unbox with you guys and the company is called Edge which is Extended Duration Gaming Equipment. Um, I'll have a link in the description to their website and this particular setup they gave me is for the Astros. As you guys can see, I do have a pair of Astro uh, headphones, and these ones will change out the Astro A40 and the A50s, and they do every headset. They had the Logitechs there, they had the Astros there, they had a bunch of different displays, but you guys can uh, go to their website and talk to them and say, hey, I have X headset, I want to get this set up because they do a lot of avionics stuff. They do they, they design and master the comfort because, well, that's what their company name is, is Edge. It's for extended duration. Um, extended duration. My dog is like trampling all over my stuff over here. So we have a standard pair of Astros here. For those of you who have Astros at home, you guys know that they're not exactly the most comfortable headphones. I mean, yeah, they're kind of spongy and stuff, and they've got like this weird like felt, like spongy type material. But after wearing them for, X, I mean, they're not heavy. They don't cramp your head. They don't have like that, that vice type stuff. But after a while, I mean, this material, I mean, just on me of just being able to wear these things for a while, they kind of start to kind of wear heavy on you. And uh, they're great sounding headsets. I like my Astros, but I have not used them because of the sheer comfort factor and the longevity of being able to use them for extended hours. Now, 
everybody's different. There's going to be people that are going to be like, well, I've got Astros and I can wear them for 10 hours just fine. Well, that's you. Me, I have, you know, I have a shaved head. A lot of people have hair where I don't. And it's always this headband on top that is always killing me. I've had tons of headphones and I'll take it off and like my ears will be hurting because like for example you have Razor Krakens and the Razor Kraken Pros where the, the cups are circular so I've got to like wedge my ear in there my ear is like sitting like this inside the ear cup and by the time I get it off I'm like oh my gosh like that is crazy or some headsets I have like a ring like a dent across the top of my head here because the headphone has been sitting so long on top and that's where these guys at Edge come into play. And I wanted to kind of show you guys some of their packaging. And thank you guys if you're watching this, by the way. You guys are amazing. They hooked me up with a set of their Astros uh, uh, little setup kit here. And um, they wanted me to demonstrate to you guys what they do. So basically, in the pack, you get a couple of items here. And they even have some uh, little kind of generic directions that kind of show you guys at home how to, uh, how to put them on and how to install it. So basically, what you're going to get is you're going to get the ear cups, the two different ear cups. You're going to get the padding. That if you guys want to put the padding in, obviously the padding is what goes, like here's the ear cup, and then the padding is what goes you know on the back side of it there so that way your ear doesn't touch the actual speaker and then you get the top cushion so what's really kind of cool about this is we'll kind of demonstrate because the actual ear cups you've got to put on they're going to take a little bit of work to put those on um, but I'll show you guys the ear cups really quick and the differences with them so here is your Astro your typical Astro ear cup okay you've got like this weird like spongy type felt material okay and then this is their ear cups you've got the leather ear cups here and look at how thick these things are I mean look at this it's like a mem like a really squishy memory foam material really really soft stuff and you know what's really cool about this too that I'm gonna show you guys is check this out here's my ear I mean look at that it goes completely around my ear instead of some of the headphones where you're it's you know squishing your ear like this these things will physically go around your ear like headphones are supposed to and how they got that is is they literally would stop people they stopped hundreds and hundreds of people and did ear measurements and said hey we're a game gaming headset company we're just taking your standard measurements and they s measured hundreds of people's ears and the average person's ear was not round it was more of like this oval type shape which is exactly you know what people are you know nobody's got round ears um, and the top of the cushion this is the part that goes on top of your head it's called the soft top right there and what's really cool about this thing is it just opens up like this it velcros open goes around the top of the headset like that and then now you've got this really soft, like carpety st style material that now sits on the top of your head that goes with the headset. So for example, this is probably one of the only pieces I'll be able to do and I'll have to cut the video. But with Astro, you've got the top of the, top of the headset here that you can literally uh, push out. And then when you push it out, then we can just Velcro this piece on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Astro piece out of it as soon as I can get this piece out. I think I, I've never taken this piece out, this little top center piece, but um, I know that I think it just pops just right out of this little section here. As soon as I can get it to, there it goes. Oh, it was just because I've never done it, but yeah, see Astro's got these. I was being like really timid with it. I didn't want to break it if it would break, but it's just got these little tabs that you've got to snap out of there so perfect okay so now we'll throw that thing aside and now what you do is you take this soft top thing that comes with the headset package you put it right inside there like they did they completely designed these for the headset see that sits perfectly right inside there and then this piece overlaps then this piece overlaps and then velcros on so now instead of having that weird like little felt piece you now have 
this piece here that's going to give you that much added comfort to it versus you know this little this is what your normal comfort this is what your normal padding was was this tiny little guy here it's not like wanting to focus there but anyway you guys get the gist of it this is your old cushioning it's like a eighth of an inch like literally you push it in and there's the plastic like that little bit and then now that's what it comes to now is this huge cushion that goes on there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here and then whenever we come back um, I will have these new cushions installed and kind of go over the comfort of the old and the new and kind of go from there so if you guys are interested and like what you see so far check out the description below I'll have a link to their website where you guys can uh, talk to them about customizing your headset and see if they can uh, get something worked out for you. So we'll be right back with the new ones installed. All right, so what I went ahead and did is I wanted to show you guys really quickly on how easy it is to swap these out. Here is the new one installed and here is the old one. So basically the old one just has this little ridge that you just kind of unravel and it just literally pulls right off and it's just got this little tiny cloth ridge. This is all the standard Astro. It's just this tiny little like squishy spongy thing. That's the typical Astro ear pad. Here is what the Astros look like with and without the pad. And it's a very simple and easy process. Basically the guy told me, he goes, it takes a little bit of work, which I don't think it was. Like I think he kind of made it seem like it takes a little bit of effort to put these things on. I literally took me 20 seconds to put this thing on it's really not hard so um don't let him fool you it's really not that bad but he says the key to putting them on is as you guys can see the actual ear pad itself has this little lip all you got to do is just start at the top like this and then work work clockwise around the headset so once you get it started just like that literally i just started it and then you just start setting it into the grooves and then work your way all the way around until it completely fits in and that's it. That's all you got to do. So I'm going to cut it here again once I get this one put in. And then when we come back, we'll uh, take a look at the uh, the before and after of the Astros and kind of see the pros and cons of it and see what you guys think. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are back with the installation. Everything is now complete. Literally, it's no joke. Like these things are in, in, like insanely easy to install. Um, I literally, when the guy was explaining it to me, he's like, you know, sometimes you kind of have to work them in and you got to have to do this and that. I literally just slid them in there. Like they really designed these ear cups much, much better than, than it looks. Like these things look and feel amazing. So I have uh, Pixie's headset here. Here is your before. Here's her, here's, uh, her Astros here. These are the pink ones. Here's kind of like your before and after of how things look. There's your little felt things so here's your before astros before the edge products and then here is your after now the top piece here um obviously you can see it does kind of like make things a little bit larger you know it kind of looks a little weird but they said that they're actually working on a different piece other than this velcro one here to kind of give it more of a lower profile look plus it kind of makes it to where like when you adjust your astros you got to adjust them a little bit more but I tell you that these head cushions, compared to these felt cushions here, it makes a world of difference. I mean, it really, really and truly does. Uh, the head cushion, like if I go back to her headphones here and put these things on, it's like, the best way to describe it is the material that's on a pool table. The felt of a pool table, that's what these things feel like. These things right here, these little things, you know, they're just like a felt material. And after a while, your head gets kind of itchy and it's just in this top band, it's just not very, it's just not very comfortable. So there's her headset there. And then here is the new one. Like I said, this top piece is kind of bulky, but one really cool thing about it is you guys can see it forms quite the seal around my head. And what's really cool about it is it makes these Astros even more noise canceling than they were before. So whenever I put on her headphones, see, now you can say something to me, babe. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I look good in pink, by the way. 
<laughs> See, like, I can hear her. Like, I'm talking to her. Like, she's sitting behind the camera just fine. I can hear her just fine with these ones with the normal Astro uh, padding on it. Now, if I put these things on. Now, say something. Testing, testing. One, two, three. It muffles it a lot more. So, adding on these, uh, these cushions have actually made it more noise canceling than before so if you guys were looking at adding even some more noise cancellation i guess that was maybe a hidden bonus i don't know if edge had that um you know idea in mind maybe that was kind of a, a hidden bonus i don't remember him telling me that but all i can say is is that they've made these astros feel much much more comfortable i loved the astros um, I just didn't like the comfort. I didn't like the feeling of that weird felt material on my skin. You know, this stuff here, like just having this weird stuff sitting on my ears for so long, and there's nothing to it. They put these leather ear cup additions to any headset. They can put them on anything. They had what, Logitechs, they had Astros, they had the Titan, the Tritons, I think is what they called it. They had quite a few different headsets there that they were they were even doing it right on the spot at pack south these guys were really amazing so a uh, big shout out to the guys over at edge for those of you guys that uh, maybe skip through the video the edge product stands for extended duration uh gaming where did the thing go i just had it extended duration gaming equipment i think is what they have on here i lost the tag of wherever the heck it went here it is right here i found it Extended duration gaming equipment. I had it right, right there, Edge. There you guys go. Um, and like I said, in the uh, description, I'll put a link to the website. It's just edgeprogaming.com, but I'll put that in there. That way you guys can inquire, go to their website, check it out, and see if this is something for you. Because you never know. You guys might be wearing, let's just say, Razor Krakens. You guys might be wearing the Logitech headsets. You guys might be wearing studio headphones but you guys are just very unhappy with the way the headset feels maybe it's just it's not cushy enough these guys will take care of you and they will take your headset and measure it out and get you guys the proper stuff that you guys need to get you guys a much more comfortable headset because there's nothing worse than spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars trust me i know there's nothing worse than spending hundreds of dollars on headsets and returning them buying them and returning them over silly things like the comfort when you can pick up something like an edge product like this put it on your head and it makes that headset just that much more comfortable for a fraction of the price that you guys can buy a whole new headset for so if you're happy with your headset you're happy with the sound but you're not happy with the comfort definitely check these guys out link will be in the description thank you guys so much to edge you guys are amazing thank you guys for uh having us check these out when we come back from pax Really cool. I'm looking forward to wearing my Astros again, that's for sure. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, guys, link will be in the description. Thank you, and we'll see you guys next time.